Hi everyone. So in this video, we will be discussing about a disease which is being related in the topic that is called as human health and diseases. And the name of the disease is called cancer. So cancer basically is one of the dreadful disease which is being seen in that of the human body. Now what is a cancer? So cancer, we can generally say it is an abnormal and uncontrolled proliferation or division of the cell which results in the formation of a tumor. So here, this abnormal and uncontrolled division of the cells, those cells, when they proliferate, they invade and destroy the surrounding or the neighboring tissues. So the activity of uh, the surrounding tissues will be suppressed or inhibited by these cancerous cells or else we can define the cancer even as uncontrolled proliferation of the cells without any differentiation. So let me tell you what exactly is the word differentiation. So differentiation means for example in our body during the fetal stage of our life the cell will divide, proliferate and it gives rise to different type of the cells. For example, in the human body, we have different types of cells uh, such as we have epithelial cell, we have a nerve cell, we have a nephron, neuron, thereafter astrocyte, microglial cells, oligodendrocyte, Schwann cells, so muscle cells. So like that, we have different type of the cells which have been formed due to the differentiation process. But the cancerous cells do not have this type of the differentiation. So whenever a cancer cell divides, it proliferates continuously resulting in the formation of tumor and this tumor will suppress or inhibit the activity of the neighboring or surrounding cells or the tissues. Now very important is these cancerous cells whenever they proliferate okay so these are some of the cancerous cells will exhibit a property which is called as metastasis. Now to understand metastasis what exactly is it means is whenever we have in the generally what we have is uh, there are two types of tumors which are being seen one is called as benign tumor and the other one is called as malignant tumors. So benign tumors are those where these cells, the cancer cells which are there in that of the benign tumors, so there the cells are being capsulated which means these cells won't proliferate, I mean they won't uh, enter into the different parts of the body because they are being confined, they are restricted to a particular place. So the tumor, the size of the tumor goes on increasing in a confined region because the cells are being capsulated. Whereas in the malignant, what happens is the cancerous cells are un encapsulated, which means they don't have the capsulation due to which these cancerous cells will enter, they have the ability to enter into the blood and through this blood they pass on to different parts of the body. So meanwhile whenever these cancer cells which have entered into the blood, so when they get lost into a particular part of the body, so there these cancer cells further starts dividing and again results in the formation of a new tumor. So that formation of the new tumor is called as neoplasm and this particular phenomena where the cancerous cell will enter into the blood, reach to the different parts of the body, wherever they get lost they result in the formation of a new tumor. That entire phenomena is called as metastasis. Very important is the study of the cancer is called as oncology. And the person, the doctor who studies about uh, the cancer is called as oncologist, right? Now, let us discuss very important for any competitive exam is the particular characters of the property of the cancer cell 
or you can even say the characters of the cancer cells. For example, the first property or character is cancer cell divide in an uncontrolled manner. So cell proliferation continuously it occurs that too in an uncontrolled manner because cell controlling or cell death is completely absent in the cancer cell. So thereby they continuously proliferate or divide. Lifespan is not definite in that of cancer cell. So cancer cell do not have lifespan at all. For example, in our body, we have the normal cells like we have RBCs, WBCs. So RBCs, for example, if we take, they have a lifespan of 120 days. Thereafter, when they complete their lifespan, so they are being destroyed. That is, once they complete their lifespan. So similarly, when we look after the WBCs, WBCs also have different lifespans. Okay. But in the cancer cell, lifespan is not definite. Okay. So thereby we can tell that cancer cells are immortal. Right. Next is extracellular growth factors are not needed for a cancer cell. For a normal cell, whenever we look after, we have different types of uh, the extracellular growth factors like we have IGF, TGF, HGF, like these various of uh, uh, the growth factors are needed for a normal cell, for their cell proliferation, for their cell uh, differentiation, for their cell signaling, everything. Extracellular growth factors are needed for a normal cell, but cancer cell do not require these extracellular growth factors. Next is when we look after the nucleus of a cancer cell. So that nucleus is of irregular in shape and also contains irregular the granules are being present in more in number. Thereafter, very, very important point here is proto oncogenes which are there in a normal cell. So they get converted into the cellular oncogenes. Now, what are the proto oncogenes? What is their function? As I said, proto oncogenes are present in each and every cell of our body. So what they do, their functioning is proto oncogenes help in cell signaling or cell differentiation. But Whenever the mutation occurs in these proto-oncogenes, so that mutation will make these proto-oncogenes to get converted into cellular oncogenes. And once the oncogenes are formed, then a normal cell will get converted into a cancerous cell. Okay, so how or what are the means by which the proto-oncogenes are able to get converted into oncogenes. So we have the various of the agents such as a physical agent or it may be a chemical agent or it can be even a biological agent which are known to induce the mutation in the proto-oncogenes which will make them to get converted into oncogenes where a normal cell is able to get converted into a cancer cell. Okay. Very important point. Next is loss of adhesion or contact inhibition property. So this is a very, very important character of a, a cancer cell. So what actually a contact inhibition property means? See, for example, if we take a Petri dish, let us say, for example, if this is a Petri dish, in this Petri dish, if these are the normal cells, okay? So these are the normal cells. So if we allow along with that of the nutrient medium, which is necessary for the cell division. So thereafter, what happens is these cells continuously divide and they will completely fill with that of the Petri dish. So once one cell comes in contact with another cell, these cells won't divide further, which means the cell division slowly reduce and further it stops. So cell division doesn't occur further in a normal cell. That is what we call contact inhibition. And this contact inhibition 
property will make one single layer of the normal cells. Generally, for example, whenever we get uh, injury to that of our epithelial tissue, okay, so we are able to find after three four days the cells will be dividing and thereafter one new uh, layer of the cells will be formed. So that single layer of cells when they are being formed, that is the property of a normal cell which we call it as contact inhibition property. But in that of the cancer cells, they have lost this cancer, I mean uh, contact inhibition property. By here what actually happens is, for example, if a cancer cell is being invaded or if it is being formed, now this cancer cell proliferates continuously and when many number of cancer cells are being formed, further these cancer cells will not stop dividing, they continuously proliferate and that proliferation of these cancer cells will result in a formation of a tumor which has been absent in that of normal cell. So that is how the cancer cells have lost the contact inhibition property due to which there is a formation of a tumor. Next is cancer cells resist induction of cell death and that promotes the formation of the tumor. Now what actually is meant by induction of cell death? So what happens is generally each and every normal cell has a process which is called as apoptosis what we generally say it as programmed cell death okay so after the completion of a specific work which is being assigned to that particular cell so that undergoes cell death or what we can say it commits a suicide that is what we call apoptosis but a cancer cell resists that particular induction of cell death so it overcomes the cell death and thereby it is able to proliferate or divide continuously and uh, that results in the formation of a tumor. So that is the next point or property of a cancer cell. Very very important is which is being already asked in the previous year NEET what is that is all about uh, the telomerase activity. So whenever when we look after a normal cell a normal cell has a nucleus okay and this nucleus generally contain the DNA and this DNA when we look after so this is a double helical structure of a DNA and in this DNA the ends of the DNA what we have so this ends okay generally are said to be the telomere so these telomere the ends are made up of thousands of proteins and these telomeres protect the damage to that of the DNA. That is the main function of the telomere which protects the DNA from getting destroyed. Okay, That is in the normal cell. What happens is whenever the normal cell divides at that time the length of the telomere reduces it shortens or it decreases so as uh, the normal cell continuously divides okay the length of the telomere goes on decreasing or it starts shortening that is the reason where a normal cell is able to have a cell death and due to this cell death the individual is able to get aged so aging occurs because of the decrease in that of the telomere. So that is in the normal cell and in the fetal life what we have, we have various of the stem cells. So those stem cells are known to have the enzyme that is called as telomerase. Now what this telomerase will do is this enzyme adds the sequence that is guanine rich repetitive sequences that is called as TTA G, G, G. So guanine rich repetitive sequences are being added to that of the telomere. So due to which the length of the telomere is being retained or it is not being lost. Although the cell divides, okay, although the cell divides, the length 
of the telomere won't get shortened but it is being retained due to which the cancer cells okay as they have this telomerase enzyme so they won't have the cell death okay that is a very important point for any competitive exam so guanine rich repetitive sequences are being added to the length of the telomere by the help of the enzyme called as telomerase i hope you understand this particular point so that is the reason as i have told you cancer cells resist induction of cell death so how the cancer cells become immortal is because of the enzyme called as telomerase okay and very important is all our normal cells have a gene that is called as p53 so this p53 gene has a role in controlling the cell division and cell death due to which as as i already said if an individual has a cell death then what happens is the aging occurs due to which this p53 gene is being called as bad cop or bad police why because it is inducing senescence or aging that is in the normal cell but mutation in that of the p53 gene results in that of the cancer cell where a normal cell will transform into a cancer cell and apart from this the another point is cancer cells okay will will not have the differentiation that is also an another important property so cell differentiation is not being seen in the cancer cell so this is what the initial a brief uh, information about uh, the cancer cell so in the next upcoming videos we will discuss about uh, the two different types of the tumors they are benign and malignant tumors and thereafter we will discuss about the different types of the cancers thank you